Hey, it was Adam Fotex, but now one here, and it is the final day for the Christmas promo. I'm kind of excited because I'm ready to move on from this promo because I didn't really have that many amazing hits. Like, if you guys got a bunch of great cars, like, for example, if you guys got the DRC, if you got the Kiko Alonso, you got the Man 25 Throwback Pack, if you got the Game Change, if you got a lot of these amazing pulls plus the Bo Jackson, the promo was probably a success in your eyes. But in my eyes, all the gifts that I pull out of packs, out of gift packs, all the gifts that I had in this game, they pretty much weren't that great. I had one great amazing gift pool. Well, two. I had the Game Changer Pack, which is about 70,000 coins. And I also had the uh, 100k Quick Sell for the Piggy Bank. So those two gifts were my best pulls. I traded for Clay Matthews, which I got. And I also traded for the Kiko Alonso. So that pretty much lets you know that in my, like, I didn't pull anything great. Now, I've seen guys out there who pulled the Bo Jackson. They pulled multiple DRCs, multiple Devin Hesh. They pulled a bunch of amazing content. That just wasn't me. So, like, in my opinion, the promo could have been a lot better because on the days that I pulled crappy gifts, I got rewarded with crappy items, and that could have been a little like like the contract packs. Like, give me like ten thousand contracts or, or at least a thousand. Like, give me a, like a hundred. Are you serious? So stuff like that kind of disappointed me. But the promo, in my eyes, I give it a D, and I would give it like a A for effort. Like, they tried. They tried this differently, different promo. They could have did Ghost again, and the Ghost Pile would have been a better success, but they want to do something a bit different, and people loved it on the first day Bo Jackson released, and then they were mad because there might have been some insider trading information between some of the guys at EA and Game Changers relating that mesh to guys that they know or are friends with. And it's still it's still going on to this day. Everybody thinks that people knew that Kiko Alonso was in that pack, that uh, DRC was in this uh, Giants gift. Now, I didn't know for a fact. I was just guessing. That's why I gave you guys that guess with Texas. But my, I, I just don't think the promo was that great. I think the best promo this year would have been the Thanksgiving promo just because so many coins were made, even though you made a lost lot of coins because that cornucopia pack. If you were smart and you sold every one of your collectibles, you could have made so many coins. I'm doing the math right now. Like they're going for 5,000 coins. If you had 100, that's 450,000 coins after tax. Like that's crazy coinage right there. So that is my final thoughts on this promo. Now let's go ahead and check out this new DRC. That card's amazing. Here is the DRC going for 800,000 coins. That's a lot of coins for a gift, man. So if you follow the trend, right? All the limited edition items in this game were awful, besides the Madden 25 throwback pack, which could be potentially great or bad, right? It depends if you pull the Calvin Johnson or if you pull Tyler Eifert. But yo, we had the limited edition Texas gift. Well, no, okay, okay, so it's been 50 50. All right. Here is a DRC going for damn near 800,000 coins, and it's kind of crazy to think that he came out of a unlimited gift, whereas the Johnny Menzel wide receiver, which everybody loved, came out a limited edition gift. That's kind of crazy to think. 98 speed, 97 man coverage, 97 acceleration with 95 zone press and play recognition. This card is crazy. Here he is compared to Devin Hester right now. Devin Hester is my newly acquired quarterback who is going to get the starting job because I'm tired of drop picks and Devin Hester has 90 catching and DRC has 80. So DRC is not terrible. He's really good in coverage. Like that, that man coverage is amazing. I just don't see the value in him right now just because coverage in this game doesn't really mean squats. Sometimes they play well, sometimes they don't. But he is six foot two. He does have 95 press. He does have 98 speed. He is the best cornerback in this game right now. And I can honestly see this guy being more used than that Richard Sherman. And last, here is the Tom Landry going for 20K. It's not a bad price, it's a fair price. And if boosts work, I would buy this card, but I don't think boosts in this game mean anything. So we're going to avoid this card like the plague. What's his chemistry? Short pass, zone D. Okay. And that is just a quick video for the final day of the playoff content. Those are my final thoughts earlier on. If you guys enjoy, hit that thumbs up button. Right now, I'm not at home. I have faster internet speed, so I'll be streaming on Twitch probably tonight. So I'll put that link in the description below like it always is so you guys can check out my stream. Make sure you follow it. And also, before I go, since I forgot to upload a three and only three yesterday, I'll do two of those today to make up for the one I missed. So stay tuned for those on the Texas Boy, and I'll catch y'all mother bleepers later. Peace.